Today, I'm guiding you through a gentle, full body stick mobility workout with a single stick. I'll be using my shorter stick, and I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can get your stick mobility sticks along with a discount code. Now, I wrote this workout for those days when you're feeling a little clunky, maybe a little bit sore, and this is a nice, gentle way to get back into your body and make you feel stretched and open and really, really good. So let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications, like this video, share it with your friends and family, and be sure to come back to this stick mobility playlist for more. So I'm using this shorter stick mobility stick because of my space, you can certainly use one that's longer, but I find this is really um, versatile and, and multi-purpose. So grab your stick. It does not even have to be a stick mobility stick. It can be a broom stick, a PVC pipe, a dowel, whatever you have, um, because it's going to add the ability to have extra leverage, a little bit of extra stability, which is really what we want in this. This is a nice, gentle workout it should feel really good, right? Especially for those days when we're a little bit crunchy, when you're feeling kind of sore, this is a, a perfect kind of active recovery session. So starting out, I'm gonna take this stick as wide as I possibly can. You can always hold on to the ends, it does not really matter. And we're gonna just start with some kayaks to open up the shoulders and warm them up. So pushing backward as much as you can, you're just in a comfortable stance, whatever that is for you. Let's go for five in each direction. And now let's go the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Holding on to that stick. I'm gonna make sure my feet are maybe a little bit more than a hip width apart. You want a nice soft bend in your knees. You can hold on as wide as is comfortable for you. We're gonna pull that stick apart, reach up overhead. And if you can, you wanna try and get it behind your head here, okay? And then we're just gonna do a little monkey pull. So you'll notice that the stick comes behind my head. If you're here, no problem. As soon as you start getting in front of your head, you're not opening up your shoulder in the same way. So it's more important that you reach up and try and get in line with your head, but maybe you don't go quite as far, right? You can stay here. Let's do five, four, three, just to wherever your comfortable range is, right? It does not have to look like mine, but the goal is definitely to open up all of this. So the further behind your head you can go, or at least in line, you still feel that. As soon as you're here, you can tell I'm not opening up into that shoulder girdle. So one more on each side. And now we're gonna add on and just go around the world. So you may need a little bit of space here, coming forward, back behind, and around, up and over, down and around, three, four. Again, only going to your comfortable range of motion. And now we're going to go in the other direction, right? So same exact movement. I'm going to swing over, back behind, and down. Swing around, reach behind, and down. Two, three, four, and five. I love these around the worlds. So you can make them bigger if you want. You can try and reach for your toes and go all the way around. But today, this is nice and gentle. We're keeping it small. So you still get a good amount of thoracic rotation. It's just really small, right? Really specific, we're in here. So now, bring that stick down to about 12 o'clock. It's gonna be right in the middle. If you are standing inside the clock, 
The stick is at 12 o'clock. Push that bottom end closer to your feet. Your feet are a little more than a hip width apart. And we're going to do some cat cows. So you can touch the very top of your stick or you can have both of your hands wrapped around it. They can be right at about the same place, however feels comfortable for you. If one is much higher than the other, make sure you just switch every time. Okay, so let's just do five cat cows. I'm gonna push that stick away from me. Have a nice big bend in my knees, push my butt back, and then I'm gonna squeeze my glutes Roll up vertebrate by vertebrate. Head is the last thing to come up. And now I'm going to go the other way, thinking we're diving down into the water as if I were a mermaid. And roll up. I have some pops and some clicks. If you have any, totally fine, as long as they are not painful. And if you don't want them, you can always just make the movement a little bit smaller. Let's just do one more. And rolling yourself up. I'm going to show you from this position. So you see that I haven't really adjusted myself at all. The stick stays in the same place. And then I'll turn face forward for you to see as we do some thread through variations. Okay? So again, I have a nice soft bend in my knees. I'm starting with my right hand. My left hand holds that stick. I have a nice soft bend. I'm going to thread my arm through and then I'm going to reach my elbow up towards the ceiling. So this is maintaining a very small amount of thoracic rotation. Two, three, four, and five. So now I'm going to come face forward so that you get that view of me and I'll switch my hands. So same exact position, switching my hands. Left arm is now threading through. Nice, soft bend, thread through, elbow up. Two, three, four, and five. So I love this elbow version if you have a lot of limitation. We're now going to continue on. I'm going to switch back to my right hand. We're going to thread all the way up using our hands. Feel free to stay with the elbow if you find that the only way you can reach up is if you almost open your whole body up. We'll get there. That is totally fine. A lot of people have those kinds of limitations. So we're going to thread through and then reach your hand up but you can always stick with that elbow version because then you're still really working on that thoracic rotation. This also requires more shoulder mobility, right? If your shoulder does not allow you to reach up towards the ceiling, you might struggle with this. Coming over to the other side, nice soft bend in the knees, push that stick out and away from you, thread through, both knees are bent, but they're not really moving. Three, four, and five. So now we're going to add on, and I'll show you from this position, and then I'll show you from the side as well. This time we're going to try and reach down towards the ground, towards that bottom end of the stick. And I want you to allow one knee to bend. So I'm going to bend my knees, both of them. I'm going to reach up high towards the ceiling. And now my same side hand, my right leg is extended long. And I'm going to switch when I come down to the ground. And again, open up, reach that right hand up, right leg straightens, left leg bends. And when I reach down, right leg bends, left leg straightens. Three more. Pushing that stick down into the ground. It's giving us leverage. It's adding stability as we move quickly from high to low here. 
and down, coming back to center. I'm going to switch to this direction so that you can see this hand moving and you'll really see uh, the legs. Stick is still at about noon on a clock. And again, nice soft bend. I'm going to reach up. That left leg is straight, left arm is reaching high. And switch as I come down. So now you're allowing your body to help open up. So you can really extend in both of these directions. And coming back to center, take a breath, shake that out. Moving on. We're going to bring that stick to the outside of our feet. You're still at about a little more than hip width apart, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm bringing it over to my right side first. So my right hand is going to hold a little bit lower down on the stick. Again, if you're much taller, you'll potentially want a, a taller stick, but it's really about allowing yourself to open up. So I have a nice soft bend in my knees. My left hand, my free hand, is going to reach up high and grab the top end of that stick. I can bring it across my body. This is nice and easy. I'm going to push this way. And then again, you're going to try and open up, really open that shoulder. You can look up and you're pushing down with that bottom hand, okay? So bringing the stick across your body. Nice soft bend in your knees, pushing away as you look up towards the ceiling. Three, four, and five. So really trying to bring that stick back behind you again. So I will show you from the side my right side, so this will be my left side. <laughs> left hand comes down towards the middle lower part of the stick, whatever's comfortable for you, right? You don't need to be reaching really low. You just want it to be where your hand comfortably naturally goes to. My right hand reaches high, I'm going to come across my body, and then swing back behind and think about pressing that bottom hand away. Here we go. One side will be different than the other. That is okay. That's totally normal. This side definitely feels a little weirder for me. Still, you see how far my arm is going back. The goal is just to get it overhead. It does not have to be as far back behind your head as mine is going. Right? If you end up just reaching up overhead, that can be a really great achievement. But you really notice, you can feel the whole lateral line of the body stretching as you do this. Whew. Nice. Coming into a wider stance. Give your hips a nice little shake, shake, shake. The stick is still going to be on the outside of your foot. So now I'm going to switch which hand was on top, right? Before that same side the stick was on was lower. I want it to be high now. So I'm going to reach back behind me. Notice how my shoulder just kind of folds over, right? We want to open it up just a little bit. So just start with that. Only going to a comfortable end range of motion. You will also see that my stick starts kind of walking. So if you need to, just readjust. You want to bring that stick kind of right in line with your toes. So bringing it back behind and coming forward, have a soft bend in your knees and press down. You're kind of doing a reverse bow. So you're bringing it back and around and press down. 
You'll really feel your scapula open up, right? Those shoulder blades getting real wide here. Two more. Press. One more on this side. And press. Whew. Switching sides. Adjust as needed, right? So this hand reaches high. I'm just going to start by trying to open up that shoulder. Whew. Two. You can think about rotating the hand so the palm in holding that stick is facing forward in front of you. And then you're going to try and push it so it's facing back behind your body. Two more. And you'll see that that stick has wandered further away than I want, so I'm going to just readjust. Feet are facing forward if they're out a little bit. Let's hope that it's about 45%. Right? You, don't, you just want a 45 degree angle. If you're way out here, then look how much lower I just got. Now I'm in a deep horse stance. So you want to keep nice soft bend in your knees, but try and think about keeping those toes facing forward. So here we go. And come across your body. Press. Inhale, reach back, press back. Exhale for that reverse bow. Three more. You may notice one side is kind of really, you want to twist. It's normal. Everybody's got a side that they favor. And coming back up to center, we're already set up for our ninja flow. We're just gonna bring that stick to the inside instep of your foot. It was previously on the outside of those toes. And again, I want you to think about reaching back behind you. You might have a little bit more of a limitation because now the stick is on the inside of your foot. So it's gonna come across your shin as you do this. So we're gonna go here for one, bring it back, Nice soft bend in your knees. Drop your hand down to center. Now grab the bottom end of the stick and bend that knee. And come back up. So here we go. One. Come back. Bend, reach down. And over for that ninja flow. Two. Coming back up. So taking time with each individual position that we're moving through so that you're set and you feel the benefit of each part of this. This is a really nice hamstring stretch. You feel this all through that line of the arm. And up. Making these as big or as little as feels good for you. Coming down, grab the bottom of the stick, bend that free knee, here we go, last two on this side. You might notice you're getting a little bit lower, just as you reach your hand down to the ground. Last one. I love that after just doing something five reps, I will often feel a difference. And come back up. Switching sides. And shake that hand out. Same movement on the other side, finding the instep of that right foot, right hand holds the stick. Here we go, twist back behind, try and open up that shoulder. Coming forward, soft bend in the knees. Drop the hand down to the center, and then reach for the stick. Free knee, that right knee will bend. You can add on by looking up. Coming back to center, stand. Reaching back behind, come back to center. 
forward fold. Reach for that stick, bend to the knee, twist to look up. This is rep three. There we go. Soft bend in the knees, reaching. Already I see I'm getting lower, reaching for that stick. Bend that right knee and return. Two more here and bend forward. Reach for the stick. Last one of these. Twist that arm back behind as much as is comfortable for you so you feel a really nice stretch through the front of your armpit and your shoulder. Coming forward, nice soft bend. Reach down for the ground. Grab that stick. Right knee bends. Oh, was that my left knee? Sorry, I'm totally backwards on right and left. But that free knee should be the one moving. Take a nice heel toe or step in, shake that out. We're gonna come down onto the ground for our last couple of movements already. Trying to assess how I feel. Shoulders are feeling really good, nice and open. Back feels good. So coming down, getting into those hips just a little bit. And I'm gonna come down into a 90-90 position. Often also known as a shin box. So I'm gonna bring that stick behind my body, but first I wanna set myself up, right? So I have this mat. I know I kinda of want my leg, my knee to my ankle to be in line. And a lot of the time people will have this thing where their foot comes really close to their bum. You wanna make sure it's out as wide as possible. Let me come to the side so you can see. So again, I wanna think about creating nice lines. Right, I gotta push this leg back. So, finding that 90-90 position. This might be a lot, right? Just doing this. And if it is, that's okay. You can always grab a towel, a bolster, a block for underneath your bum so that you're not feeling any kind of pain or discomfort and you can sit in this position while maintaining this kind of upright posture. If you need to, you can always have your hand down to give you an assist. But we're going to bring this stick to the top of that back foot. I have to turn to do this just because of my space. So here we go. Same setup. Stick comes up against the top of those toes, and then it's going to reach around your back. I want you to bring your forearm over the top of it so it's almost kind of sitting in the crook of your arm, right? And you don't have to push too hard or anything. This might help you stay upright just having this stick here because the bottom end is pushing onto the floor. You're holding that stick in towards your body. So it'll help you give a little bit of assist in keeping this upright position. This may be enough for you, right? You might notice my bum is not on the ground on this side. That's okay. I want you to think about just relaxing and sitting down on those sits bones. You may not move. That's okay. So I want you to think about we're gonna squeeze and release this top butt cheek. This is my right leg. This right butt cheek, I'm gonna squeeze and release. Yeah, five more, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. If you feel a little crampy, go ahead and push your hip forward. Let go of that stick, totally normal. That can be a lot. You can also come out, right? And then we're gonna add on with a little bit of a twist. So again, I'm back in that same position, pressing this front knee down, pushing the stick up against my body with this hand, and it's pushing up against my back top of my toe. 
I want to reach with my free hand. Try and twist around. You see, I cannot twist very far, but just trying to look over my shoulder. Again, you feel this all through this back hip here. And ease off. Let's do that one more time. And release. So again, phew, come out of that position. We gotta do the other side. Just getting into this 90-90 may be a lot. That's okay. You have all kinds of options. You can grab a bolster, a mat that just you roll up and sit on, anything like that. Finding this 90-90 position, first and foremost. So definitely different than a shin box, where your knees and your feet might be coming together. This should feel a little bit more difficult to hold this position and stay upright. So again, starting with just using that stick to give us an assist, bring it in towards the crook of your arm so that forearm comes over, left leg is back, this bottom end of the stick is up against my top of my left toe. And this right here just allows me to sit up a little taller and stay in this position and breathe, right? So it's a great way to just kind of help you find that posture. Already I can feel this hip is screaming just a little bit. So here we go. We're just going to think about uh, engaging and releasing this left glute. So squeeze and release. We've got 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Go ahead and drop the stick. Extend that leg long. Whew. And we're going to add on coming back into that position when you're ready. With that little twist, does not have to be a lot. This can be a lot as a stretch, right? Just being right here may be enough for you. But now I'm gonna try and reach that free arm over and keep my shoulders down, keep your shoulders down as you try to look over your shoulder and release. Let's do one more just like that. Two. And release, ease off. Oh my goodness. Just come out of that, shake those legs out. That can be enough, right? Getting into those hips, but we have one more. We're gonna come sort of into a figure four position. I'm gonna bring this stick in front of my body first. So I'm gonna sit as far back as I can. Le leg is extended out, one foot is in. So my left leg is extended, my right leg is in towards my body. I'm gonna reach that stick all the way over. Oof! Trying to get it to right at the balls of my feet. So you can have your hands as wide or as narrow as feels comfortable to you. This one may be difficult if you can't quite reach in this position all the way to your feet. You can do this. Same basic movement. Just bend that knee, bring your heel down on the ground. And again, you're reaching for the stick to be right up against the balls of your feet, okay? So if you need to, you have that little bend. And then you can always push yourself out as you get more and more comfortable to whatever feels right for you, okay? And then all we're going to do in this position is try and pull the stick over to the side just a little bit and then over to the other side. So I'm going to come back into this full length position and you'll really just feel a nice stretch through the calf, sometimes all the way up to the hamstring, depending on your flexibility and how tight you are.
and just kind of going side to side. It is a passive stretch, but you're adding a little bit of movement to get different angles. One more on each side. And then gently release. So if you had your knee bent, you can always extend and just check out, did you get a little bit further after that? I find I can always reach a little bit further just by doing those kinds of things. So staying on this side for one more move and then we'll switch over. Just going to twist my body so that you can see. And again, we're gonna bring that stick behind our back for another one of those delicious twists. So it's really giving me more leverage, right? The stick is on the instep of my left foot and it's coming around my back. So my right hand has to reach back behind my body to find that stick. And then all you're doing, you might not be able to get it in the crook of your arm, right? You see, I can't really quite get that far, but I've just got my hand there. Elbow is pushing back behind me. I'm gonna try and reach over. You might not even be able to reach. I can, nope, can't do it. But I'm thinking about twisting and looking back behind me. And then ease off, relax. Let's do one more. Pull that stick, you're pushing that stick in towards your body and you're reflexively pushing against the stick with your foot. And ease off, Whew. set that stick down, switching sides. So I'm coming back to having it in front of my body. And every side is different, right? So you may notice that your right side, you can reach further down your leg. Oof. Oh, I think this is tighter, this side for me. So reaching as far forward again, feel free to have that heel down and bend your knee if you need to. And we're just gonna gently, oof, twist side to side. You can allow your head to look because where your head goes, where your eyes go, your body flows, right? Just kind of open up space as you twist and look. Three. So this may be a lot for you, these little twists. Feel free to hold the stick in the center if that is the case for you. One more on each side. Oof. Uh, and again, check out where you are. Are you able to get a little bit further? And again, switch my position a little bit so you can see me. And I'm not up against the wall. I'm gonna bring that stick behind me. So the stick is in the right instep of my right foot. I'm gonna reach that left arm behind me. This is so much easier on this side. And I can twist. Wow, what a difference, right? I can even reach my hand here. Uh, twist and release. <sighs> One more time. And release, oof. Ease off, set that stick down. Thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead and take a moment, get yourself back up to standing. Maybe just see how you're feeling now after that. I definitely feel more open, more grounded, Whew, feeling good from doing all of that kind of stretching and just more aware of my body.
Thank you so much for being here with me. I really have a great time making these videos and I would love to hear what you need or what you'd like to see. So drop me a comment, reach out to me via any of my social medias, and I look forward to hearing from you again. Until next time.